maybe worth making a heading above this somewhere, um, which is to call this empirical data on the normal distribution. Let me uh, write that for you, actually. Empirical, as in empire. What's new again? I'll come to that in a second. Empirical data on the normal distribution. Um, empirical data just means we're looking at numbers, right? There's no algebra in this question except for the algebra that we introduced, which I'm about to do shortly, okay? Um, we're dealing just with the numbers, and so there's a lot of reading, interpretation, thinking about what does this number signify, and then how do I use it? What do I do with it, okay? So let's just start reading through the question and then start to note down the things that matter. And I'm not gonna write it in a long wordy way, I'm gonna write it in a succinct mathematician's way. So. We're thinking about um, this Steve, isn't it? Is it Steve? Steve the marathon runner, right? So he has these times for how quickly he can run a marathon. And we're going to jot some of them down, right? Before we get to his times, I believe they say the mean time in Sydney is 2 hours 15 minutes. So which letter, which Greek letter do we usually use for mean? Mu, mu very good. So I'm going to write down mu equals. Now, I could just write down the time as it's given, 2 hours 15 minutes. But some of you would notice later on, it just starts talking in minutes, minutes, minutes. So let's do a conversion quickly here. 2 hours is 120 minutes. So that makes 2 hours and 15 minutes 135. So I'm going to call this 135 minutes. There's the mean. And then the next thing they tell us, what's the next number that they give to us? Standard deviation. standard deviation, what Greek letter do we usually use oh, for standard deviation? Zero. Yeah, the sigma, okay, very good. Sigma equals, what is it, 2? 4.5, sorry, 4.5. Ah, okay, now we're coming to that, right? So, that's all the stuff on Sydney, right? Now, then he starts talking about Athens. So, I, I like to make sure when I'm doing this stage that I don't miss anything, so I'm just going to go from start to finish in the question and then try and conclude what do I do with this, right? So, now he starts talking about a whole different city, Athens, right? Again, I get a mean. So, here comes mu. It's, uh, what is it? 2 hours 17, so that's 137. Cool, 137 minutes. <laughs> I know what units I mean. That's a long marathon there. And then standard deviation for this guy is three. Okay. Is this so far so good? I haven't written down anything crazy, just trying to interpret the question. Okay, so then we have a look at Steve himself. Right? Oh, what, did I write the wrong time? 136. What am I? Oh, so I'm just I'm reading the next line. I'm reading his time. 136. All right. So. All right, stay with me. So now, that was seamless, right? So now I then have to say, what about Steve himself? Now I've got mean, I've got standard deviation. When I have a look at his time, that's what we signify by X, right? X is like your particular score. So what is his Sydney running time? 137? You'll notice, by the way, I'm putting the units every single time. You might get a bit sick of that, but for me, like every question is going to deal with different units, so I'm kind of scared of getting the units wrong. Well, okay. Steve's time. Steve's time, yep. 137 for Sydney, and then 139 for Athens. Okay. Now... Hey, he's got troubles. He does, well, he's a marathon runner, right? So we have all of the pieces that we need to get a Z score out of this, okay? And you'll notice, by the way, I've set this up so I don't confuse one mu with another, one sigma with another. So I'm gonna go Z equals, just this first time, just to make sure I get it right, I'm gonna just write the formula. It's a fraction, right? What's on the numerator? X minus mu, very good. So it's the difference between your score, or his score, and the mean. And then we divide by? Standard deviation, sigma. Okay, let's go ahead and just crunch the numbers. So 130, Seven. Got to make sure I know which one's which, right? Take away 135, all divided by 4.5. Yes? 0 0.4. 4. 4. 4 with a repeater on the top. 4, 4, 4, 4. Uh, it's 4 over 9, isn't it? Okay? So that's good. Let's rehearse that same process for Athens. I'm just going to go straight to putting the numbers in because I already had the formula here. Uh, 139. Make sure I get the right one. Take away 136 on 3, even I can tell that's just 1, okay? So I've got my Z scores now, and then here's the critical bit, right? What matters about statistics is what can you say from this? What is the interpretation? Which was the better performance? Z score of 0.44444 or Z score of 1? Now we instinctively say, ooh, higher scores, better. Except hold on a second. 
These are times, right? These are times. To be faster is better. To be smaller is better. So actually, the lower the Z score, the lower the Z score, the better it is. Okay? So what I would say is, which was the better performance? Number one, I would say Sydney is the better performance. Okay? The reasoning is that his Z score for Sydney is lower, and because times we want lower is better, a lower Z score, like if he had a Z score of like negative two, right? It's like, well, you're way down that end. You've got a much smaller time than everyone else, which is fast. Does that make sense? Okay, so you can see how it's not just about the number crunching, it's about how you interpret it.